This is the first deadly bike wreck during the ROT rally since 2013, and that's no accident. KXAN's Chris Davis gives us an in depth look at how organizers are now teaming up with traffic cops to keep bikers safe. As the ROT rally rolls into its final big night, this is a 1290 KTL. Justin Boatner is just rolling into town. The ride in from North Texas was smooth, but he says he's always thinking about everyone else on the road with him. Some of them don't see you. You know, that's pretty much what you have to believe. You have to just believe that they have no idea you're on a bike. You're like a ghost. According to KXAN's records from 2010 to 2013, 10 people died on bikes around Austin during the rally, half of those coming in 2012 alone. Four years ago, the rally stopped looking at this problem just in hindsight and started taking proactive steps to make sure everyone who rode out of this parking lot did so just a little more safely. That's when they started working with TxDOT. Uh, for one year, we came up with slogans, billboards, uh, wristband ties, ride safe, bikes are everywhere. You've probably seen the signs all over that warn drivers. They also remind bikers to ride safely. The last three rallies since that campaign started, zero biker deaths until this year. Unfortunately, you have this many people. There's that odds, you know. Whatever went wrong today, tens of thousands of rioters come and go every year safely. Rot Rally staff says they'll keep working to keep it that way. Chris Davis, KXAN News. And the ROT Rally organization also has hired a retired Austin traffic engineer on staff. So any concerns that he brings up, they are able to address right away. Austin traffic.